All right, so what is good YouTube? It's your boy Legendary EA, and today we're gonna be talking about some of the most slept on players in the 2020 NBA draft. Players that I just believe aren't getting enough hype and have really good upside. So if you enjoy this video, make sure you go ahead and like it up, and of course, subscribe. And <laughs> there's no need for a longer intro. Let's get straight into this video. So anyways, as we know, the 2020 NBA draft class isn't the strongest, and honestly, it does not have that many potential stars in this just draft. I mean, just off the top of my head, I can probably count like maybe two, LaMelo for sure, maybe Anthony Edwards, but that's honestly about it. But even though it doesn't have that many potential stars, it does potentially have a lot of solid role players, and role players are really important because they are the backbone of a lot of good NBA teams. So that's what we're going to be talking about in today's video. We're going to be trying to find a diamond in the rough. Well, maybe not a diamond, but like probably another gem because like I said, maybe these guys won't be superstars, but they could definitely potentially be really good players. And I think that a lot of these teams, if they get drafted, are going to be getting a really, really good player at that pick. So you know what, guys? Let's talk about it. Alright guys, so the first player that I'm going to be talking about, and before I even get started, these are not in any kind of particular order. We're naming about four players and just a few players that I left off of this list because I don't want to make this video all that long. But the first player that we're going to be talking about is Vernon Carey coming out of Duke University, man. So during his time at Duke, Vernon Carey was 6'10", 265, and he averaged about 18 points per game and 9 rebounds. He also shot about 58% from the field, and he was a really solid player offensively, and maybe if it weren't for some of the other bigs in this year's draft, like James Wiseman and Onyeka Onkongu, he would be a lot higher on these mocks. I've seen him ranged all over the place. I've seen him being ranked at 13th, and then even some mock drafts have him falling towards the end of the first round with like the 30th pick or the 29th pick, and some of them even have him early in the second round. So. It's really all over the place, but overall, I do think that Vernon will be a really solid player. Uh, you always see him in the gym working out and putting in work, and he's a really good offensive big man as well. However, I do think that he needs to work on his stamina and his defense and just get in better shape because offensively, he's a really, really solid player. The next player we're going to be talking about is a player that I made an entire video on, calling him probably the most underrated player in the entire draft. And that's Jaden McDaniels. Now look, he's another one of those players in this draft with a lot of potential who just did not perform well in his lone season at Washington. He's 6'10", 180 pounds, and he's a forward. He can play small forward or power forward. And he has a really good handle. He's really good at blocking shots. He can be a really good defender. And he can score in a variety of ways. However, this past season, he only put up around 13 points per game. 6 rebounds per game on 41% shooting, and sometimes just looked completely disengaged in the game. Look, he could be nice, he reminds me a lot of Jonathan Isaac, especially defensively, and I think that he could be a steal for the right team. And players like him always, like, they, they always intrigue him because he has, he has so much talent. He has so much talent, and I think that, well... I guess for a lot of these players, it really just depends on the situation that they land in. But Jonathan Isaac, I think put put with the right coach, put in a right situation, he could be a very good player. He's very gifted. Like, he's a very gifted player. Out of high school, I had him ranked so much higher. Right now, he's sitting around the mid-teens to the early 20 range. I think that he could be a really good player. The next player that we're going to be talking about is Jamias Ramsey coming out of Texas Tech. Ramsey is a high-flying combo guard. He also played at Duncanville in those years where they were winning state championships. During his loan season at Tech, he put up 15 points per game on 44% shooting, and he shot 43% from the field. He stands at about 6'3", 190, and he could be a really good player in the NBA. I think that, that he could have stayed another year with Chris Beard. However, once he fills out, he's going to be a really decent player in the NBA. Now, like I said, I don't see a lot of star players in this year's draft, but Ramsey could honestly be a really good six man on a lot of teams, or maybe even a decent starter on some teams as well. But having somebody like this coming off the bench as your sixth or seventh man, 
he could really be a baller. He's a lockdown defender. He blocks shots. He shoots the ball well. And look, he can run and jump with anybody. So once again, hopefully he lands on the right team. I think two good teams for him to actually land on would honestly be the Boston Celtics because there could be a mentorship probably with Marcus Smart. And honestly, the Los Angeles Lakers are in need of a lot of good, decent depth. And I think that he could potentially be that guy. And he should be available around their pick, maybe. They might have to, you know, move around, trade up a little bit. But they could definitely pick him up. The next player that we're going to be talking about would be Devin Vassell coming out of FSU, Florida State University. 6'7 defensive wing player who can score at all three levels. This past season, his sophomore season, he put up averages of 13 points per game five rebounds while shooting 49% from the field and 42% from the three. Look, he checks off all of the boxes you want any prospect. He literally could be the Kawhi Leonard of this year's draft. And he isn't flashy. He goes out there and he just flat out hoops. I I've seen him as high as 10 or maybe even 11 on a lot of mock drafts, but others still have him in the mid to late 20s. So I decided to actually just throw him in this video as well because I think that he's gonna be a really, really nice player. And the last player we actually decided to mention in this video is Trey Jones. Of course, we know his brother, part of that Duke 2015 championship, Tyus Jones. But honestly, I thought that he should have left Duke last year with Cam, Zion, and RJ. I truly think that he could have went in the late first round. We know that he stayed and he walked away with the ACC player of the year in the ACC defensive player of the year. He's a really good defender with a really high IQ. He, he's really good at facilitating and setting up his teammates and he can also hit his open jumpers as well. I think that out of a lot of the NBA prospects in this draft and in many drafts, he's somebody with a really high floor and honestly i think he resembles his brother a lot somebody who can be a decent player for a lot of these nba teams however you guys that is the end of this video of course some other players to actually name are tyrese maxi rj hampton even though i don't feel like rj is all that underrated because most of us know about him kyra lewis out of alabama and of course aaron naismith all these good players let me know who i forgot to put on this list let me know y'all's list of the underrated players in this year's draft man the nba draft we're probably not going to be seeing the nba draft until like late august september like normally we would be gearing up for the nba draft in, in the next coming weeks but this situation is just a little bit different but let me know what you guys thought about this video make sure you go and like it up and of course subscribe on this channel where we post 2k bass look it, it's all basketball it's all sports a lot of great content Make sure to sub to my second channel. I'm going to be starting a My Career series with a draft prospect on that channel as well. So make sure you go ahead and check that out. But other than that, you guys follow me on Twitter at LegendaryEA. Tweet me some questions and comment some suggestions for another video. But other than that, I'll see you guys in the next one. I'm out. Peace, y'all.